What is going on everybody and welcome back to my Euros uh, playthrough on FC24 here. So we are on match day 2 currently, the second half games for groups uh, E, D, uh, D, E and F. Um, currently uh, the standings are from group A, Germany and Switzerland have qualified for the knockouts. Uh, Spain and uh, Spain have qualified, uh, that's, that group's still open. England have qualified. Um, and then, yeah, we've got these three groups today. Uh, we've got, first off, we're playing Ukraine versus Slovakia. Slovakia are actually, I'm recording this the 18th today, uh, Slovakia have actually beaten um, uh, Belgium, which was quite funny. I'm going to play as the Ukrainians. They actually lost 3-0 to Romania. Which is quite a shock, actually. Didn't expect that. In Stefanenko. And... versus Slovakia. So the first game here, uh, well, the first game of the episode. Chance for Ukraine here to get qualification to the knockouts. Slovakia want to get on the board here for the first time. They beat Belgium in real life, but they lost to Belgium in this uh, simulation. Oh, it's a penalty! A yellow card there, and Slovakia have a penalty right out of the gate. Uh, is Kuka saved by Lenin? And that is a huge let off early doors for the Ukrainians. Is Zinchenko now? Oh, it's Zinchenko. Oh, I was looking for Dogbia in the middle. Is Sudek? Oh, and he forces a save. So it's probably good that he didn't actually touch him there. Oh, oh, he's given the free kick. He's already on a yellow, the referee. Is just giving the free kick here. And Ukraine it's a fullback is fortunate to not be off the pitch. Oh, Lennon. Of course, the Real Madrid QB. He probably would have played the final if he didn't wasn't ill. Yeah, he was ill. That's why Courtois played. And then Courtois got injured after that. That's why he's not at the Euros. Is Mudrick. He can score off goal! And there's the opening goal of the game, and Ukraine have it. It could have been Slovakia in the first couple of minutes with that penalty, but they missed it. Mudrick scores. Right, not Mudrick. Uh, De Kanskov scores. I believe that's the second goal now. Very nice.
Oh, and Mudrick wins it back here in Dugbia. Can get on one-on-one -on -one now. Big save by Dubravka, keeping Slovakia from going 2-0 down. And that is a foul there by Ukraine. Oh, he's won it back here. Big chance. It's a corner to Slovakia. It's been a close game, I'd say, so far. Ooh. A roaring header. Another foul by Ukraine. Sudakov this time. Oh. Nice attempt, but uh, wasn't really ever going to beat Lunin from there. Here is Mudrik now. Pulls it back. Zinchenko pulls the trigger. It's a good save by Dubradka. Zinchenko puts the ball in. Here's a shot now. From Matinovalenko. Matinovalenko. I don't know how you pronounce his name. It's Zinchenko though. Had a 2 0. And it's to Kanskov at the double. Here he's. Headed it home now, and Ukraine have a two goal lead over Slovakia. And the Ukrainians are looking likely here for the knockouts now. What a ball in from Zinchenko. And Dekanskov here profits with his second of the game, and I think that's his third now of this international tournament. At the Euros. Should have a look at the Golden Boot race at some point. Against golf here with the second of the day. I think the referee's calling it back. Could have been a lot different if Slovakia put that penalty away. Oh, well. It's kind of summed up their half, hasn't it? The Slovakians. Carve out one more opportunity, Slovakia before the half time. Oh, they can. Oh, they're going to score as well. Right on half time. Slovakia have a goal back, and now that makes things a little bit more interesting. Hekaraka, I need to pronounce his name. Some really difficult names to pronounce. 2-1 at half time, well they get one back here, Slovakia to make things a little bit more interesting. This will be a... Oh, big save. Jenko's ball in. Ganskoff remember is on a hat trick. Oh, Zinchenko goes for it. Can score. Oh, okay, I pressed B like ages ago. That should have of stayed on. I was gonna pass it and have it crossed in.
There comes Slovakia. Oh, what a waste. What a huge opportunity. And the nods on here for Sharparenko. And score. It's Sudakov, what a save. The Ukrainians are. Well, chance is that was a big save by the keeper. Sharparenko coming on. Nice ball out wide to, to Kanskov. Apparently, that header is what's winning the game for Ukraine right now. Zinchenko, Dobia, Ganskov, Tikmic, oh what a save, I don't even pronounce that guy's name. They'll take off to Ganskov now, the Mileskov. Here's a chance now here for them. Oh, it's scored! Hanko here equalises for Slovakia. Oh, my word. The two-goal lead has been given up by Ukraine. And a huge moment there in this group. Could he could he do it here? It's Dobia. Could be that was the chance for Ukraine to win it. Sharparenko, okay. And there we have it, two two. A huge point for Slovakia to keep them with an opportunity of qualifying but that means they do need to win their final game if they want to have a chance of qualifying for the knockout stages Ukraine gave up a two goal lead to cancel off with both of them 2-2 two -two draw at the end here what a way to start we started off with a draw in the last episode as well Ukraine they still lead the group uh, still lead by a point Poland versus Austria from Group D now. Players Poland for this one. Lewandowski is there actually at the Euros, but he did get injured if you remember. That guy's actually the one who scored in their game against the Netherlands. Kivio, he plays for Arsenal. Don't know where that guy plays. I think he plays in the port. I think he plays for Lech Poznan, I think. Badnarak, of course, he plays for Southampton. Chesney, of course, Juventus keeper. 
Bojakowski, I don't know where he plays. Zielinski, of course. Now, nah, well, I think he's leaving Napoli actually and going to AC Milan, I think. That was Frankowski, I can't remember where he plays. See Lewandowski at Barcelona. Salomon. Oh, it's Muda as well. That's oh, Gimensky. Muda, of course, plays for Brighton. Could have put Skimensky actually in this team. Skimensky, yeah. I just realised, is Matty Cash not here? Oh, wow, they didn't bring Cash with them. We also need a full back on the bench. That's a, is he injured, Matty Cash? Because he usually would be one of Poland's starters. I don't know, he's not, he's not, he's completely English. He was born in England, Matty Cash, but he, his mother's Polish, so he can't, so he's not completely English then, but you know what I mean. Poland, Austria, at the Olympic Stadion. Few nations that need to get onto the board. Both lost their opening games. Poland lost 1 0, didn't they? And Austria lost 5 0, I think it was. Poland and Austria. Start there. Oh, and Gregor's in. Oh, Gregor with a big save by Chesney. Bye. The Lesky. The the first chance of Poland for the game. Big save. Neither. Nation have scored yet. Frankowski. Oh! What the hell that was. Good save. Uh, Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Oh! A deflection from Frankowski. And then he gets it back in again. It was just behind Lewandowski. Is Busca? Oh, he just turned and hit it. Wait, no, Buka, Bukasa. Bukasa. on Poland. Here come is Lewandowski the star man. Is Frankowski. Oh my god, that's a brilliant touch. Oh my goodness, how's that not a goal?
Little chance. Oh, and Austria take the lead. And it's a brilliant start for Austria. Greg or Swech, um, Greg, we'll just call him Greg. Greg gave them the lead. Is just, yeah. Buxa, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Zelski, Zelski, oh, he scuffed it. It's been quite an even game, to be fair, but Austria have managed to take the chance that they got. Big Greg put it in. It's Sabitzer. One not Austria at half time. There's Lewandowski. Lewandowski here. Lewandowski though with an opportunity oh, to get off the mark. I think Lewandowski's only ever gotten one international goal at a major tournament. There's a chance. Oh. And that was at the last World Cup where they lost 3 1. I don't know if that's true. Skiansky. Oh, come on, that advantage went on for ages. I'll give you a packet of crisps. There's Lovadelsky though. Lewandowski, oh, there's the goal. And Poland are level, and Robert Lewandowski scores to make it one more. And he has his first goal of these European Championships, Robert Lewandowski. Big moment there for Poland. Off the post and in. There we have it. Zawoski out here. Oh, Skimanski. Oh, Here's Gregor, what a challenge that was. Rodrikowski. Here we go now, Lewandowski. Oh. To Buska! Baku Bakusa! Then they've turned it around, Poland. Lewandowski with the assist. To his strike partner, and he left his boot and sailed into the back of the net here for his first goal of the Euros. He did score for Poland against the Netherlands in real life. Looks there. 
Hoekstra makes it 2-1. Here's Greg though. Oh, Greg! Oh, he scored again! 2-2! Two, two. Big up to Kraus covering on Salomon. Oh my. Krakowski. Sorry. Gregorich. There's Lewandowski here. Plays it as strike partner again. Puts oh, he was looking to put it on a plate here for Um the guy on the wing. Oh, it's a Frankowski, that was it, yeah. Lewandowski, oh what a save. Is there a chance? For a winner, that's a really good challenge, bro. So, oh no, it's no, it's a penalty. Oh, he's given a penalty to Austria, and Austria have a chance to win this game. How was that a penalty? He won the ball though. There's a little bit of a follow through, but come on. Sabitzer has a chance here to probably win the game for Austria here. He does, and the AI has beaten me as well. Marcel Sabitzer has scored the penalty that should win the game for Austria. However, is there one more chance though for Poland here? Oh, Lewandowski! Oh, no, it's not! No, it's not! Austria do not win this game! Poland refuse to die! It's 3-3. Three, three. Austria let their guard down. The substitute does really well. He just rolls into the path of Lewandowski. Rolls it across his body and he just lashes it in for his second of the game. He's got two goals and an assist today. And he saves a point for Poland. How about that? And Poland are not out just yet. In all fairness, they wouldn't have been out. If they'd lost. It would have just been very, very difficult for them to qualify. Especially with France being their final game. It's difficult for Poland, but they are on the board here. They've scored three. They, they, they've scored three in a dramatic three-all draw with uh, two draws now. With Austria. And now we're on to this game, which is going to be an interesting one. gonna make some correct choices just to make this game even more tasty. I'm gonna keep Vegorst on actually. Samper, isn't he? Uh, was in the forest previously? I think he went somewhere else. Oh, 
Now Netherlands versus France with a crazy two-all draw between... Uh, sorry, three-all draw, sorry, between Poland and Austria. One of these two here had the chance to qualify, but also it's looking likely that they'll both be first and second in this group. France won like 5-0, meanwhile Netherlands won 1-0. Taram, early doors. He's got a corner out of the blocks. Griezmann on the corner. Oh, it's Charmini. You can definitely hit them. Makano. Rabio. Loses control of it. Oh, and Antoine Griezmann steals it back here, and he finds Taram. Oh, what a save here by the keeper. It looked like it was past him. Here's Mbappe with his first involvement in the game. Skipping past here. A few of the players, and then looks to tuck it into a Griezmann, but it was a poor ball in. After a pretty decent run there with it. Oop. Here come the Netherlands now. Oh, it is a chance, big save. He was offside anyway. My now though, was still a huge stop. Is of Meccano here, he's won it back in midfield. He finds Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe looks to put everyone on uh, on toast here. And the Netherlands get it away. One back. It's a fair challenge. To be fair, Frimpong versus Mbappe is actually a pretty tasty battle. Oh, then Hernandez takes out Frimpong though. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong name. Good day. Saliba. Rabio. Mbappe or oh. is Usman Dembele. Is Kunde. It's all over it. Mbappe, another save here by the young keeper. He's only 21 there, number one goalkeeper in the Netherlands. He's Brighton's keeper. Chance here. Oh, I thought it was in. Mbappe, oh, it's off the line. I thought when it came to Mbappe, that was going to be 1 0. Thanks for coming, you know moment but it was it was going in it was off the line though to deny the French superstar the new man at Real Madrid Rabia uh, okay well Fernandez to get a yellow card for that foul early on Fafé Faram Dembele Oh, Rabio! I thought that was going to nestle into the top corner. Look at that, it was off the line. Who got it off the line? Was it Diverge? Yeah, it was. Diverge off the line. Oh, one back though by Chiumeni. Right now, Netherlands are under the cosh here. Chiumeni's just allowed to put it on a plate here for Taram. Oh, it's a big block again. This Diverge again. Really good defending by Diverge. 
kicked in by Griezmann. Comes out here to Mbappe. And he puts it in. Oh, just behind Rabio. There's Kunde. Last chance of the half. Oh, and right into Verberger. Yeah, the Brighton goalkeeper. Yeah, we've had two draws so far. Right now, this one's a draw as well. 2 2 and 3 3. We've had a, a nil nil draw as well in this match, do. There was no draws at all in the first match, do. We've had three so far. And at the moment, we're looking at a fourth potentially if there's. Another one of these, you can get one. Hernandez was going for a, an out swinging cross. Is too many. France here yeah, have been the more attacking side. Is Taram. Oh, and Verberger. A bit of an interesting punch, but as long as it's not in the goal, anywhere is, is good. It is too many. It's another corner. Towards Taram. It's Saliba. It's Dembele! Oh, what a save by Van Bergen! Taram! Oh, it's Mbappe. Oh, he's missed that. Could miss hit that completely. Gillian Mbappe. I sense that one goal could maybe win this game. Just a one goal. Who will get it? At the moment, France are the more likely ones to score. Is Rabio? Oh, uh, it was a goal kick. Dembele tried to make it hit off the uh, Netherlands defender. No, it just went straight out. Powering header by Saliba. Mbappe into the path of Taram. Griezmann. Mbappe, can he get there? Oh, just beat into it by the Dutch defender. Oh, and Griezmann did well to step in here. It's Antoine Griezmann. It's Antoine Griezmann! Oh, just over the bar. The Bergen here. I think he had it covered. That's what he'll say anyway. Had it covered. One back there by Griezmann. They just allowed him to take a shot, the Netherlands. Is Griezmann now. And again, France win it again. It's really all one way traffic at the moment. Mbappe here has it here. He got it. Takes the shot. It's blocked again. Dembele, oh, and it was sneaking in. That was a really good save by Van Bergen. I'm going to make a change here. Koeman's going to come on for Dembele. A change in the wing. And it comes in. Oh, there's the goal. Well, that change didn't really do a whole lot, but it is Kylian Mbappe for his third goal of the Euros. Here. They have their opening goal. It's 1-0 to France. A looping header from Mbappe finally finds it. I mean, it was only a matter of time. The Netherlands clearly, you know, Camavinga's going to come on Griezmann. They were clearly playing for a point here. They weren't really attacking France too much. Now they've got to go for it. Here's Camavinga already. It's Komen. It's Komen. It's 2 0. The Netherlands had to open up a little bit more and they were caught out. And Kingsley Komen doubles the French's lead here. Francia are 2 0 up. Rabia is going to come off the Kente. He actually played quite well, apparently, according against Austria. Oh, and Kante steals it back here, and now he's up there with... It's just him and Taram here. Oh. Comes now. 
Too many. Komen! Oh, he's just lashed over. He's onside as well, Komen. He almost got his second of the day. And the Netherlands here, they just. Had a good performance from the Dutch here. So, oh, silly chance there by Mbappe. He could be in trouble here, actually. Oh, it's going to be a red card, and Mbappe's been sent off. Gillian Mbappe's been sent off at the European Championships, and he'll miss the third game. Don't know why I did that. Mbappe here has been sent off, though. So they're going to be without their captain. Their third game, but they've already qualified now. Unless maybe a late recovery from the Netherlands. That's going to be a foul. Yellow card for Up Meccano. Surely not. Oh. oh, what a challenge that was. Time will probably get a yellow card for that. Good challenge there. And it's full time and France have a 2-0 lead. Mbappe and Koeman scored the two goals here, but also Mbappe was dismissed here for a silly challenge. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why. I thought maybe he might be able to win the ball, but that was silly. Uh, it's 2-0 with France over the Netherlands. Mbappe will not be able to play the next game. Uh, however, and it does mean Netherlands need to beat um, Austria on the final day. Uh, or else it could be in a little bit of trouble. Georgia versus the Czech Republic. Other than Mamadashvili and Kavrashkelia. Don't think I know. Yeah, I don't recognise any of the other Georgian players. I'm going to play as the Czechs. Elzerk, yeah, I know him, and obviously Will any I mean Patrick Schick. <laughs> he does look like him though, doesn't he? They, they are like twin brothers. There you got Kovar there. I think I'm going with Kovar actually. Kufal, yeah. The tick. To check, and then check and hold. Zach, of course, is the the match number four of the episode. Now Hamburg's ground. Georgia versus. Um. Georgia versus Czech, the Czech Republic, or Czechia, as uh, they also like to go by. There's an early chance there for Georgia. Oh my goodness, and I almost chipped the keeper. Out of it, some start by the Georgians. They're not scored yet at the Euros. Their debut European Championships. It's Carve Shkelia! Oh. And Carve was uh, very close. Oh, 
thought it was a late challenge there. Oh, and he saw an opening and he just thought he might try and sneak it in. Oh. Right now, Georgia are the ones being the aggressors. I haven't seen anything of Schick or Holzek yet. Oh, and there's the goal! Well, Georgia have been threatening it, and it is the main man, Carver Scalia, with the goal here, and he is on the board. It's their very first goal at the European Championships, the debut, of course. The Georgian fans go wild. And Carver Scalia has their first goal. Who else? Oh, but they're giving it away here. And now it's Holzek. Holzek around Mamadashvili. Oh, it's off the post. Actually, the ball went out of play. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. This is a huge moment, though, for the Georgians. Oh, Turkey beat Georgia 2-0, lost Czech Republic, um, lost quite badly to um, Portugal. Czech Republic. It was like five, six, one or something to Portugal on the opening day. Here's a chance. Save, but that's got to be a goal. It is. And Patrick Schick here has scored. And it's the second time Mamadashvili has made the save and then it be followed up. Literally Turkey's opening goal was the exact same thing. Shot saved and then it was just a, a rebound. And they find themselves level here, Czech Republic. I don't know if that's their first goal. Did they score against Portugal? I think they did. There is Patrick Schick again. Oh. Remember the last year is when he scored from the halfway line against Scotland. Oh, chance and it's 2 1! They turned it around to Czech Republic. What a shot that was. At number 14. Provod. Yeah, Provod here with a really good finish. Just comes to him, really good touch, and then what a finish, just lashed it in with his left foot. 2 1 to Georgia. Chance. Oh. I don't want to really make it difficult for the. Flicked on. Oh, nicely done. And Suchek went for a, a very interesting shot. But was saved in the end, and it is 
half time Czech Republic are 2 1 up against Georgia Patrick Chick just showing a little bit too much of the ball there Oh, oh, and Patrick Schick again. Uh, Olzak, he plays in the Czech League, doesn't he? He plays for, is it, is it Victoria Pilsen? Or does he play for one of the, um, one of the Prague teams? Is Holzak, oh, I think he plays for Victoria Pilsen. No, 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 sorry, no, he plays for Sparta Prague, doesn't he? He doesn't play for Slavia. No. Provod. Provod! Oh, he's got another one! And it's 3-1, and Provod gets his second goal of these European Championships. How about that? How about that? He just turned and hit it beautifully into that corner and he's got his second of the day and uh, taking the game away here from it over coverage Skellia did quite well there Oh, it was a red card. It was a red card. Wait, what? And Holes has been sent off for that. Really? Okay, well, one of the strikers is going to come off, so we'll take off Holzek. Another red card of the European Championships. Wait, can we sub him back on? Wait, no, that's not how it works. Okay, now we'll keep Fatik on, and Zimmer will come on for Holzek instead. Zimmer's going to come on and fatigue. He was going to come off. He's going to stay on. Uh, a little bit of a... Uh... Oh, it's going to be a penalty now. Oh, fatigue. Now, now he's on a yellow card. Might as well take him off now. Let's bring on the DM to play as centre-back. And this is uh, Kovashkelia has scored again, and it's not over. I think that's the fifth red card now this year is for me. Kovashkelia trying to create some history for his country here. Patrick Schick's the only striker up there now. They're looking to catch them out. Oh, Mamadashvili stands tall. Here's Schick again. There, these Holzek had to come off here. And Czech Republic here are trying to hold on for their lives here as Georgia are rallying. Another substitution here for both countries. Ah, uh, that's a wasted free kick. Because Georgia in both games have played quite well. They didn't do too badly against Turkey. There's a chance though now! Oh, what a save! By Kova! 
a really good pass as well to Provod. He's actually on a hat trick. Here's Lingia. And he plays it to Kufel. Oh, and Chick tried to catch the sweet spot. Czech Republic here, though. Can they just see themselves over the line? Get a big three points. Is Schick now. Patrick Schick. Provod! Oh, that would have been something if he'd gotten a hat trick. That's a foul. Yellow card to Q foul here. Czech Republic here. I think I tried to set a record for how many cards they can get merch. Skelly is going to put this ball into the box. Oh, Kufal's in trouble. He's just been booked. He's going to get a second yellow. It's another red card. Czech Republic are down to nine men. And another, a big player has been sent off for Czech Republic. They're looking pretty weak now going into that final game. Kufal just tried to step in and he made the mistake in the West Ham. Fullback has been sent off. <laughs> We're down to nine men here. Schick, I'm just going to stick Schick at fullback. Looks like Patrick Schick is just going to sit. Everyone's just going to sit back with these last minutes here. But can Carver Schellier do something? He's not going to be him. It is a strike. Oh, it's wide. Yeah, I've just stuck Patrick Schick at fullback for this game. Oh, they've lost it though. Oh, and the team. Oh, he's missed it! Oh my word! Giorgio Alabo! Oh my goodness, what has happened to Kova? He was a former United goalkeeper. We ended up, we just sold him last summer. Oh my word, he's just missed the ball. It's a tap in and Georgia have just done had a historic moment in their country. Oh my word, he's missed it. And it's just a tap in and Czech Republic could be heading out after just the group stage here. They down to nine men. I thought the first red card was incredibly harsh since he was going for the ball. And it wasn't really the proper last man. Is Linga. No way. No way! Oh my word, that almost crept. Imagine that had gone in. It's a huge moment here for Georgia. A disaster for Czech Republic. They were down. They were literally. They had. They were 3 1 up. And they've chucked away a two goal lead. Another draw. And Czech Republic are looking. Very much likely that they will not be continuing in this tournament unless they do something big. But they're going to be without Kufal and without that uh, cent without their centre back, their main centre back as well, uh, for that final game. Turkey versus Portugal up next. I'm going to put Nevers on the bench. Jao Nevers. Uh, Ramos can drop to the... Uh, can drop out this time. That is outrageous, that is. I thought Kovar had it, and he just completely just slipped out of his hands. And... Uh, Anyway, next game of this of this group, Group F. One more game after this match. It's Turkey versus Portugal. Portugal. Both countries have a chance to qualify here for the knockouts if they win today. 
And with what's just happened between Czech Republic and Georgia, it's kind of outrageous. Ronaldo ooh, did get uh, does like a 5-5-1. Five, five, Fernandez is in there. The team, yeah. Finds Ronaldo blocked. It's a corner. Bruno Fernandez. Rafael Leo. The challenge. It's Ronaldo who finds himself in this area. Leo. The team, yeah, takes a deflection. Corner. Bernardo Silva, Rene Fernandez, Latina, oh. There's Latina, Ronaldo, Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes, Encelo. It's Ronaldo! And Cristiano Ronaldo gives Portugal the lead here. Brilliant moment there. Just tees it up and Ronaldo says thank you very much and he gets his second goal at the European Championships. minutes in that was just a straight up boot I thought took a deflection Ronaldo Here's Bernardo Silva, who got a brace in that opening game. Chance for it was Diaz that just came to all the time he had. I'm still thinking about that last game between uh, Czech Republic and Georgia, about that ending. Uh It'll be all, it's going to be so hard for them as well to get a win over Turkey without two of their main players and Fernandez. Uh, uh, I said about that shot, the better, huh, Bruno? That was a shot. I did press B for that. Nope. I said about that clearance either. Oh. Hello. Just trying something there. One back. Oh, Mendes they're backing up Liao, getting it back to him. Here is Liao now. Oh, it's too big of a touch. Goal kick. Mendes, Ronaldo, oh Ronaldo, 2 0. First shot was blocked, but the second one found its way in. Zoom. Ronaldo wants to make this his own tournament. We'll see if it happens though. Second chance, he was not going to say no to.
Chance, oh my goodness, what an opportunity there for Turkey. They got a second corner since it did come off a Portuguese player. Oh my goodness, and that... Oh, it's in! What just happened there? I have no idea, but Turkey have got a goal back right on half-time. I think... Did I just header... Did Ronaldo almost, Ronaldo almost scored an own goal? Let me see a replay of this real quick. The ball comes in. Ronaldo headers it, yeah, it's off the line by Cancelo. He's about to clear it. I take an additional touch, and then the Turkish player comes in, tackles him, and it just. It's a mess of a goal, but it's ended up in the back of the net, and Turkey aren't going to complain. It's 2 1, right on half time. It's been some close games here. Yeah, that game's here 3 3. Ronaldo with both goals. Bruno Fernandes, Ronaldo, Fernandes, oh, that is a crunching but really good challenge by Diaz as Palinia. He gives it away, and then wins it back, and then finds Ronaldo. Ronaldo loses it. Oh, and Arta Gulta's in! Oh my goodness, what a save. And the young man here, almost scored, is Liao. Rafael Liao, Ronaldo's in the middle. Oh, Miguel gaping for Cristiano Ronaldo. Ban, 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 ban. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Ronaldo, and it's Bruno Fernandez here. Bruno Fernandez, it's Bruno Fernandez. Oh. Patino's kind of looking at him like, why didn't you just pass the ball to me? And to Bruno to score, that's why, damn it. Oh, and Fernandez's flick on almost got to Cristiano Ronaldo. It's the suey man. Suey man. Ronaldo! This is great banter. Alright, hello, hello, hello. Uh, hello, hello. Okay, cool. Just making sure the mod is still working. Ronaldo finds Bruno Fernandes. Ferenc Fernandes! Oh! Right, we're bringing both Neves is on. And we're bringing on Jao Felix as well. Paulina off, Neves on. Joe Neves on. Latina off. Liao off. Uh, Felix on. It is Ronaldo! Oh, I thought that was the hat trick. Now yeah, we'll let Ronaldo want to play the entire game. 
Looking to seal the deal. Portugal. Oh, and Ronaldo could do it here. Ronaldo! He does! And a hat trick. Ooh. Our first hat trick of the European Championships comes here for, of course, nobody else than Cristiano Ronaldo. Turkey fell asleep here at the back. And he just took his time and tucked it home outside of the foot. It's a really good goal, by the way. He's just tucked it into the corner here with the outside of his boot here. Diogo Dallo coming on for Jao Cancelo. And uh, that will be that then it looks like unless we're about to have a huge comeback again. Ronaldo to Jao Felix who's just come off the bench. Oh! Wanted him to side foot it, not toe poke it, but hey hey. Jal Nevers, Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes just in and out, in and out, oh, and he's got his goal, it's 4-1 to Portugal and Bruno Fernandes is on the score sheet for the first time, I have a feeling he's going to have a good Euros in real life, Portugal haven't played their first game yet, they're playing on, on the 18th which is today, their first game, in, in and out, Say goodbye, and then what a finish that is. A hat trick for Ronaldo and a Bruno Fernandes goal as well. And in the end, Portugal's quality oozes on Dallo, just not letting him pass. That was the dude that scored there. Interesting goal. Easy save there for Costa and Portugal with a 4 1 win. Ronaldo is the first player to get a hat trick at the Euros. That means I think he's leading the Golden Boot race now with four goals at this tournament. We'll check uh, the Golden Boot race after this final match, which is Belgium versus Romania if Group E. And we'll see where all the groups are at. Belgium actually lost their opening game, which was kind of funny. Yeah, and I think Trossard deserves to start. Kraska could still on the bench. Now, Lukaku is fine to start. He actually, remember, had to come off after five minutes uh, due to uh, an injury, and we didn't want it to be too much of an issue. So uh, we subbed him off for Appendi, who actually did score two goals, but Lukaku, regardless of Appendi's brace, he will be starting this game against Romania. Final game of the episode. And the, fire, and the final game of match day two. So in the next two episodes will be conclusions of the, of the groups. But Lukaku, let's hope you don't get injured after five minutes. That's why your backup striker is at the moment outshining you. It's tackled this time on his way to goal, probably a blessing in disguise. Oh, and Lukaku's played in here now. Look at the space he has already. And there's his first goal. And you see, that's why you chuck him in, because he's still Belgium's record goal scorer. And he gives Belgium the lead. Just took his time, because he had so much space. And he fires into the bottom corner. And there's 1-0 here to Belgium inside six minutes. Comes. Trossard 2-0 oh wow 2-0 inside 10 minutes Leandro Trossard here off the mark now a 
Oh, good finish. Here's Trossard again here. It's a really good start to this game. They scored two early goals. If you remember in the first match and they've done it again. De Bruyne, Onana, Doku. De Bruyne, De Bruyne. Oh my goodness, and he just couldn't get it out of his feet. Here's Mangala. Oh, I think I started Tillemans last time, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, no foul. De Bruyne. Selected over Tillibans today. Just a little bit of a different change, and because I forgot to change. Oh well. The Tongan. Castiles. Finds a nice ball to Trossard. Oh, brilliant ball in here. It's Lukaku. Oh. His first touch wasn't the best. Onama. It is Lukaku who sneaks his way through. Oh, what a save by the Romanian keeper. It keeps Radu, isn't it? He's an inter second choice keeper. Ah, so they're not giving up on it. Onana. Is Jeremy Doku. 3 0. That was a really good passage of play. Jeremy Doku here. Makes it 3-0 to Belgium and it's looking likely that Belgium are going to qualify here. Mangala puts it through and this touch here from Dorku brings the keeper out and then he side foots him into the corner. And Lukaku steals it back here. De Bruyne. And it's Amadou Inanna who's in now. It's four! And Onana! I don't know if that's his first ever Belgium goal, but if it is, then it is. It's 4 0 to Belgium here, and they're absolutely running riot. Uh, you can see that the golden generation is diminishing here, but they're having a good day today. De Bruyne just plays Onana, and he was running through the middle. Doesn't score too often. In fact, I think that's his first ever goal for Belgium. Two quick goals at the beginning of the half and two quick goals at the end of the half. Here's Trossard. Trossard again. Oh, and he looked to put it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This oh, wow. That somehow didn't creep in. I think it was saved onto the post, then it was headed back onto the post again, and then out by a defender. Second half here, and four go different goal scorers Lukaku, Trossard, uh, Doku, and Onana.
Romania barely had anything in the first half. Trying to create something here. Oh my word, goodness, and how? And Castile's here went from doing nothing to a lot of stuff there. Double save. Oh, it's going to be a free kick here. Yellow guard for Mangala. We've already had five yet, uh, red cards at this tournament, so don't want any more. Oh, it wasn't far away. Doku. That's a nice ball. Trossard. Oh, that's outstanding. And Trossard, he, he got, I think that's his third goal of the tournament. He gets his second of the day and it's his third goal because he scored an absolute scorcher in the first match as well. Aliadro Trossard here. Look at that touch. <laughs> the strike is sublime. It's 5-0 to Belgium. To make sure he doesn't get sent off, we're going to bring on Tillemans. Uh, we're also going to bring on Di Catalera for De Bruyne. And Caresco can come on for Trossard. Not oh, Trossard off. Caresco on. Catalera on for De Bruyne and Mag Magala. Mangala off. On comes uh, Tillemans. Belgium are comfortably. Take it apart, Romania. And Lukaku manages to get free. Romelu Lukaku saved here. It's Di Catalera on the follow up. And he, it might only be his like, first or second touch of the ball, but he's off the mark here for Belgium. And he's scored. And it's 6 0 to Belgium. Over Romania, this is Lukaku Di Catalera. <laughs> What's another one? Di Catalera. Is Yannick Carrasco. Oh, big save. Tillemans. Banana was in there. Tillemans. Banana. Carrasco! Oh, it's in! It's seven. Yannick Carrasco wields away celebration. Don't know if that'll be given as his goal or an own goal. But this has been an absolute destruction of Romania. Oh, what's happened to them in this game? They just couldn't contain Belgium. Flicked on by Onana and his shot is on target, so he'll probably go down as his goal. Really good strike. Beats the keeper and it hits the back of the Romanian player. It is a Carrasco goal. And rightly so, it was on target. Eight, sorry, seven, nil. This statue. That's really the closest they've been, isn't it? Stanier off, Munier on. Oh, that's the turned by Jeremy Doku. And fired in by Munier towards Carrasco. 
No, there's not going to be an eighth, is there? There almost was from Tillemans. Lukaku off, and on comes a pender. Oh my goodness! And another strike comes in, another save. Oh my goodness! And Onana almost got his second of the day. Oh! Oh! It's it's thin, it's eight now. And it's Thuram, Thuram. It's eight nil to Romania. Sorry, not to Romania, to Belgium over Romania. Oh dear. Set his original header was saved. Appendix shot comes in, saved again. Uh, Thira. Thiri. Uh, makes it 8 0 to Belgium in the European Championships game. Di Catalera. Onana is looking for Carrasco. Ends up at Carrasco's feet. Wow. Romania just really offered nothing the other way. Oh, but they're going to score here. They do score. And it's 8-1. Romania have scored their first... Well, I don't know if it's their first goal at the European Championships, but they have scored and I wouldn't celebrate after conceding a mate. It's a goal here from... Uh, uh, Haggy dips it over Castile here and that is a scoreline at the European Championships it, the final score is Belgium 8, Romania 1 and uh, that's 11 goals scored now, both Germany and Belgium have scored 11 goals so yeah anyway that is the that is match day 2 complete so as you can see, France have qualified, Netherlands, yeah. uh, Belgium have qualified, Ukraine are on the verge, and Portugal have qualified. That's what it's looking like right now. Has anybody not scored yet? I think everybody has scored at least a goal at these. Oh no, Albania and Croatia are the only two nations not to score yet that's kind of crazy yeah because of course they drew 0-0 didn't they with each other so that's a thing and uh, let's just check the golden boot race so yeah Ronaldo and Musiala have four goals each at the European Championships so far uh, they're leading the gold golden boot race Kane with three or Kane Trossard uh, Mbappe and Dikan Scoffle with three. Uh, of course, Mbappe won't be able to play the next match because he's suspended. Kane might not even be able to play this next match due to an injury that will keep him out for just that game. Anyway, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>